Yeah! Hey! Hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Vigigam's Post Pack South 2016. Woo! We, now... uh, we were all there this year. Yeah, it was nice. Go. It was yeah. very nice. We, um, this this is going to be... Uh, uh, th there's four people in this one, but unfortunately Lisa's not here, so our cat Max is filling in for Lisa. Yes. Um... <laughs> Max, would you like to say something? Thank you, Max. Max was not at <laughs> Max was not at PAX, so his his contributions to this are Very gonna are gonna slim. be null. No. His opinions don't matter. Yeah, his opinions don't matter. But anyway. All right, so let's get started. Yeah. In okay. retrospect, we probably should have you know decided how we were gonna work this, but uh, whatever. But well, we can get like everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are we gonna wing That's it? kind of it's our like, forte. It's like us playing an episode of a video game. Yeah, we're, we're gonna wing this. So uh, I guess we're just gonna kind of start. So like, um, what were some of your I was gonna say we'll just do this as a day by day, but if I get let's just go with like what were your experiences? Day by day would be too hard. Like, yeah. Experience wise, it. Oh, tired. Like quick summary wise of the weekend. Tired, tired, tired. Yeah. Over God high, damn you, tired. Kevin. That doesn't help me. <laughs> I would like to say that this year was much bigger than last year, oh, and so God. I didn't even get to play very many games because I. Uh, there were so many lines and so it many was people. Huge. Yes, but even then, like they they were keeping on top of the lines from what I could see. They're trying to make them go as quick as they could. Yeah. Unless you wanted to pay something like Dreadnought, which which wasn't going to happen. Didn't get a chance to play that. But you know, holy shit, would have liked to. I didn't either. What's the what? Okay, um, Dreadnought. Think of it like naval ship fighting, but in space. Okay. So you have to actually turn your ship. So aim space the broad pirates. Yeah, it's something kind of like that. But you like turn your ship. Aim the broadside of your guns to fire at another ship's broadside to deal damage to them. Oh, I'm gonna be bad at that. Or they'll have ships flying in, like little speedboat type ships that come up, like do a little bit of damage to you or yeah. zip around you, stuff like that. It's it's a PvP naval space battle game. Oh, okay. That, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that one was like the big one that, that was everyone was year. lined up for. It was kind of like last year's Gigantic, if anyone went yeah, last year. That yeah, yeah. No, set that's up. that did seem to be the equivalent, was that like that was this year's Gigantic. Like that was the big, yeah. like, this is going to be what, you know, this is the big deal this year kind of thing. So, like, I was really kind of upset at the location of the Twitch booth because all the right, lines. Smack dab in the middle. You okay, <laughs> last year it was off to the side. Like this year you walk in and it was like a little bit to your right instead of the left and it's like bam, like kind, right kind there. Kind of in front of your face. Yeah, so it's like all the lines were blocking you from kind of getting into the convention. They that did was, fix that. Oh, later on, the day one was shit. So <laughs> trying to get in, yeah. But other than that, um, I, 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 I really enjoyed the layout. There weren't as many big names this year, yeah. I noticed. Um, it was... Big name wise, like for YouTube people, I really didn't see anyone with any program listing or anything. But big name Twitch wise, they had a lot of their new and upcoming big names it did, that showed up. It did seem like it was very Twitch centric, all things considered. It was. Like, um, which I'm okay with because they brought a lot of good stuff. Oh, oh no, and I don't doubt. That. I'm not, you know, discounting that. It just, I'm just. That was more of a general mm -hmm. statement than anything else. So was. Kevin and I, with a couple other people, went to the town hall. Um, meeting that Twitch yeah, how was, did. How was that? Very good. Very, very interesting. Informative. Yes. Um, they addressed a lot of things. Like, I don't know a lot about Twitch, but Kevin certainly does. What yeah. I was excited for is that they confirmed they were working on um, being able to upload videos rather than just streaming. So I think whenever that becomes um, an option, we'll probably be doing a lot more Twitch things in the future. Yeah, which would be... Once they go over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's their current video system setup's really more of a oh, you've been streaming, you can go through and make videos from your stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Highlight they reels. They said, like, 60-second like cool. clips that you yeah. can yeah. upload right now, currently. Yeah, it, so, otherwise it's, like, a recap of your stream for, like, up to 18 hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. It's, like, it's current. the current system is really more for quick stream highlights, which the 60-second one was more to combat another company of which I probably should not mention, so I'm not going to say their name because it was a big fiasco going on with it but i have no idea it, what you're talking they about they provided okay. a service to where you could take a quick up to 60 second cap of someone's stream without their permission oh and host it somewhere and that was the problem there was no twitch permission and there was no creative user, user, permission. user permission right if they had been given permission or they were getting a cut from any of the ads they're running off of that it wouldn't have been a problem more right. than likely but this is twitch way of saying Hey, we saw you guys really like that. 
we will give it to you. I think that, was, really, um, that thing somebody was doing illegally was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. We want to do it legit. So, <laughs> so that, that, that's what they do. That's, no, I mean, that's a, uh, it's not a bad idea. I'm the, just, I'm, the thing that I really do give uh, credit to Twitch for is that they really do listen to their fans, their uh, users, yeah, the like, creators. They want to provide you with things that you're going mm-hmm. to use. So if you have a lot of people are wanting something, Twitch really will work to provide that. So. Like, it's almost every answer they had for the question during that. And someone's like, hey, we're looking for this type of thing. Oh yeah, we already know about that. You guys are talking about it. It's in the works. We don't have any current information for you. I don't have the authorization to tell you anything, mm-hmm. but it is being worked on. And they addressed like right. all the new things that they had provided mm-hmm. for the the site. Um, and it was just, it, it was very informative. Twitch, so. as a collective... Like streamer raising money wisely, like it's another one of those good formats to actually do charity streams. With. Mm-hmm. That I've noticed. They yeah. raised a couple million, it was like seventeen million dollars collectively by themselves, Jesus. like for, across the site. And then an event called AGDQ they talked about, which is awesome games done quick. It's a speed running mm-hmm. showcase for those type of streamers. They alone this month, like this month being just past January, raised one point two million dollars. Mm-hmm. Wow. So and that's they've gone up like a hundred fifty thousand every single one. It's and there was a question about um, there possibly being another TwitchCon, and they did not confirm nor deny, but they said there will be a big announcement in February. I mean, I may have been able to talk to some people concerning some. <laughs> Kevin, don't fucking do that. Don't <laughs> about TwitchCon, <laughs> and it may have been a reaffirmation about. Good things coming in February. I can so either again, they, we will just say good things even, in February. I can neither confirm nor, nor deny, deny that I did or did not <laughs> speak to someone who may or nay may not exist. <laughs> but no, it's I got to speak with some Twitch staff directly about like the marketing people, some of the moderators, some of the administrators, and they did say that in February some good things will be coming, but they don't have any set dates. So right. February, guys, if you're listening to this or the <laughs> today, Twitch February first, by the way. Yeah, so today is February, so uh, not today, but um, here soon. Should I guess, be the hope, next couple hopefully weeks. by the end of February there will be an announcement concerning hopefully TwitchCon because holy fucking shit, I want to go. Maybe, <laughs> maybe one day. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do you have, Colin? You've got a stack of. I did. Well, Colin was the only one who like actually brought notes and cards and stuff. stuff. To we're this. we're winging did, it. Yeah, like did my fucking homework. <laughs> So, uh, congrats, well, Colin, you won better, a dose. Better yet, where's your notebook that you wrote in? Well, actually, the only thing I really took notes on, uh, I just want to talk about briefly, uh, is the Friday the 13th game. That yes. we all went to. Holy shit. That was, okay. like, that was really the only thing I did Friday night, was because by the time we got in, like, we, we, we drove in Friday morning, me, Sarah, and Lisa all drove together, and we left Fort Worth at, like, 6 in the morning, got into... Uh, San Antonio around... I think y'all got there about 12.30 or 12.30. Yeah, we got there around noon, and by the time we got checked in, it was like we went and did like a quick swing of the... Just to see the floor. Yeah, just to check the floor out and everything. Everyone was very tired. And And I... I, Lisa needed to go take a nap, and I walked upstairs with her, literally laid down, and I was like, well, you know what, I think that's when we went to the Twitch thing as well. Yeah, it was when we got to the Twitch town hall, because I was like, well, I'm just going to lay down for a minute, and then woke up at like 8 o'clock. Colin laid down to rest his eyes and woke up three hours later. Yeah, (laughs) but anyway... Afterwards, we went to the um, oh the Friday the Thirteenth panel. The Friday the Thirteenth panel. Okay, Holy so I didn't even want to shit. go to this, but every well, I don't know why, but I was like, oh, really? This sounds terrible, but I'm so well, glad. I think it's mostly because, like, as a quick and aside, there was that other game. Yes. That was supposed to come out that we were extremely hyped for. Yes. That got into. Well, no, trouble. they they explain trouble. Here's the, here's the I, thing. No, it's not like, that they got into trouble. It's that. Because the people thought they got into trouble, and people thought that they got into all these other things when it wasn't the case. It was that the company that was working on it was basically doing a, uh, what at the time was just called, like, Summer Camp Volume 1. It was meant to basically be, like, a Friday the ner- Friday, Friday the 13th. Oh, no, this, Friday the 13th. This would be a different game. Oh, yeah, so this, one, this yeah, is this, well, the this one was someone that was, different. Uh, they had a character that had a, a could, mask similar to Jason's, oh, okay. yes. and so they got into a so lot they got of in trouble, So they changed kind of it, issues. Yeah, but they were doing an essential, just a horror game, yeah. like a horror movie game, where you could play as different vil- or different yeah. horror villains, and they also had up to seven people playable, Yeah, where you could be a jock, you could be a nerd, you could be a cheerleader, and all that. everyone had their own stats, yeah. and all this other stuff, the same thing that... Right, the King game talked about, yeah. but 
So basically, they were doing this game called Summer Camp, and it was very similar to Friday the 13th. They can't couldn't come out and just say that it was a Friday yeah, the 13th but, game. However, the creator of Friday the 13th... And the license holders. The license that, holders, yes, got in touch with them and basically kind of gifted it to them. Yeah. And they were kind of like, hey, look, do you, why don't you... Do, you know, it's like, look, we like what you're doing. We think you've got a good thing going on here. Why don't you just do a Friday the 13th game? And they were just kind of like, ha that would be great, but we can't possibly afford that license. And he's like, no, 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 you don't understand. You can have it. You can have it. Yeah, yeah they, you can just do it. They wanted this to happen. So they had, a, they had one of the Jasons. Who did they have? Kane Hodder. Okay, yeah, yeah they had yeah. him. Like, he is For, um, um, actually playing Jason in this game so we yeah. got to Three, watch it no, no, no. Kane Hodder's done a lot of the later stuff. Like, I think, he, I think he's done, like, 6 through 9. 6 through 9. Like, okay. he's been in one of my personal favorites. <laughs> was he is... in Jason X? Yes, he fucking was. Yes. <laughs> that was actually... No. I hope you... that makes it to the game. No, ever. <laughs> Anyone can talk shit about Jason X, I love but it. Jason X is amazing. I you love watch it. That, it's, it's great. It's, it's basic machete gets broken in a door, walks into a surgery lab, looks around. Oh, look. Space surgery machete. Yeah. No, it's ridiculous. It's Space great. surgery machete. Regular machete. Space surgery machete. Which is like three feet longer than regular machete. Oh, no, wow. it's great. It's oh. a wonderful movie. But anyway, um, no, they showed a lot of the things. And what's, what's so nice about that is for anyone that's a fan of that like series, they clearly have taken so much time and effort these to are, recreate. These are real fans yeah. of the movie it's creating a game. The so... Game. When I say fan, I mean they know like they can look at possible detail. How many holes were on the mask? The fact that the mask isn't white; it is actually yellow tinged due to a plastic dip that it had to protect the mask. Yeah, and like they'll like they'll look at it and actually like they had one of the masks on there and like they hand it off to someone. It's like, oh yeah, no, this is from Friday the Thirteenth Six, and there's like someone was like, how the fuck did you know that? It's and like, they, these guys are intense; they know their shit. They made sure they modeled the sign perfectly. They got um, there's no official map of Camp Crystal Lake. However, there are a lot of it's, like it's fan. All, they pulled and all that the was. Fan. Really, that was, yeah, and that was so what was really cool. They pulled they, from the fan base basically to create this map of the game. Yeah, and that's the, the small beginning portion yeah. of the map, which they plan to do more. And oh, what's really exciting. what was really fun about Just that was one. that they talked about how they. Uh, one of the things I thought was so fun about was that they talked about giving Jason certain powers and like he has all of these different like animated kills that he has mm. like he can burst through a wall. They so, showed they showed motion caps of him like and the two people that were doing the other mocap and like one was like he ripped a girl's leg off. Another one was the girl who was playing her was the girl who did the latest Tomb Raiders. Yeah, like, yes. yeah. yeah. So that, they had some pretty big actors kind of come in and do work with him. So uh, I thought that was really neat. Kane Hodder fucking tore a bicep oh, in man, it. That was uh, ridiculous. Really like neat. legitimately tore his own he, bicep like he tore the bicep doing the sleeping bag kill yeah oh hell yeah so the sleeping bag kill is gonna be in there um, the head squish they they also um hinted to the fact that he you can knock his mask off though they didn't say they, how it is modeled you so yes. he has so to have the possible. face from i think it was in one of the midpoint jasons where his mask yeah, got knocked yeah. off and it's my personal speculation on that is they'll do it to how the movie was to where he actually gets afraid when his mask gets yeah. taken off. So that that if you knock his mask off, that may give you time to run. Yeah. So basically, you're at Camp Crystal Lake, and there are up to seven players, different camp counselors, and uh, you can play as Jason or you can play as one of the camp counselors. Now, each of the counselors have different stats. So if you're playing with as the nerd, you can fix the car faster. Whereas if you're the jock, you might be a little bit more powerful and might fight Jason a little bit you easier. You can still fix the car, it'll just take you it'll longer. It'll take right. longer. So they said it was like kind of a, you can play together, whereas, you know, work as a team and things like that. 1v7. So, exactly. So yeah. if uh, you're friends with the nerd or you're working with the nerd, you can probably escape because the nerd can fix Defend the car the nerd faster. Defend the nerd fixes the car, hopefully However, leave you behind. How does I say? However, you can work as not a team, and you can fuck your teammates over, basically. And, Just uh, to try and get your like. Yes, yeah, because so, if you're hanging out with the nerd, it might be a benefit to you because the nerd runs slower than you, and yeah. you might just want to leave his ass mm -hmm. behind. So yeah. it's it's kind of it's kind of cool because you could think that you're like gonna do this as a team and then somebody just fucks you over. So yeah, they can exactly. Escape. So it's yeah. kind of like Mario Kart, the horror game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was a it's a lot of fun, and I I don't want us to. Just sit here and spend a lot of time on it because Even we, we could. could. This is well, the big no. hype that we've had all weekend is for this game. Oh no, that was like the one thing where like I walked in and I was like, I was initially excited for it, and then seeing it was just kind of like, oh yeah, this is really what I wanted like, out of it, and like this is. And it's not going to be complete jump scares. It's going to be things like you can it's hear stress. him breathing, well, you can hear scare. him walking, kind of like Alien Isolation, to where yeah, you can hear the alien be before scare. you see it. Yes. And that was one of the things that I liked about it was that they made it seem as though, you know, a lot of it is that really for the 
a vast majority of it, you won't really see Jason. No. Like it's it's, gonna he's going to be dark yeah, as he's, hell. I've yeah, gotten, in the woods, no lights. I've gotten to see some of the playtesting they did. There were a couple of videos that got leaked for it. Their current testing phase looked really, really good. Yeah. It is a very dark game. They have, like, street light type things set up to where you can go stand in a street light. You'll regain some of your stress level and you get more concentrated. You can run better, do things better at that point. However, standing still means Jason catches up to you very, very quickly. Didn't they say that you can get fear, too? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Oh, you'll have a fear There's meter like a fear in this meter, game. Which they didn't, you know, they... They didn't really go into the fear meter a lot, but it was kind of mentioned a little bit. It, it affects how you do things from what I... Right. And if, if your character is making a lot of noise and things like that, you'll also draw Jason to you. So there's just so many different things that... Um, kind of come together to make this a very unique game so we're we're really excited it's, about it's it it's yeah. going to be good all right so what's next uh next up i actually want to talk about one that was um i want to talk about actually this one first which uh which is don't mess with a lobo with shotguns oh, which my, can i see that yes it's wonderful <laughs> i kind of fell in love with this one while i was over there it's a fucking werewolf fighting zombies yeah i didn't even see this there. i didn't either it was towards the back but it was it was by this very small team um, and I loved it because one of the things they had in it was, uh, uh... That would be Game Starter, Video Game Incubator, and Publisher. Yeah, they they really designed it so that if you looked at it... I mean, this was projected on, like, a regular, you know, flat-screen TV, but it looked like it looked like it was being played on, like, an 80s-era VHS. Oh, like, that's cool. Like, the color was kind of off, and there was, like, kind of, like, a tinge around the character, so it looked like... You know, the the video was kind of messed up, but where you could tell it was intentional. And the gist of it was pretty much you play a werewolf man with shotguns who kills zombies. And it's a side-scroller, and it was a lot of fucking fun. And it Perfect. Like, yeah. It's like no. so very reminiscent of, like, an older game. Yeah, no, and I mean, it's very, it's very much got that, like... 80s era like arcade eight, game that you yeah, might see but like mixed with like a shitty movie that you would see on like USA at like 2 o'clock in the so, morning so on a Saturday so it's a shitty game made after a shitty movie Kung Fury <laughs> yeah no it had that it had a it had a feeling of kind of like Kung Fury but done as a video game yep. like I Night, 1980s retro action kung fu type movie yeah awesome. and it was a lot of fun though because i mean it's a side scroller but as you go along you know you get different power-ups and you get different things okay. you can play as but i mean it seemed like a lot of fun i okay. i personally really enjoyed it all right and that was um, lobo with a shotgun yeah no oh, don't mess shotguns. don't mess shotguns. with a lobo with shotguns okay, yeah. say it right all it's right like, <laughs> it's like and a pimp have... name it's like a it's like a tribe called Quest or a pimp named Slimback. You got to say the whole thing. You can get this on Steam, and they also have a website. Yeah. So uh, that's LoboWithShotguns.com. I'm not sure if it's out on Steam yet or if it's just been greenlit, but okay. either way. But either, either way, way yeah. you, can, you can look it up. So, Keep Sarah, you did play this one, Death Stare. I played Death... Is that the, the cheating game? No, no, that's, no. That that's was... the, the stare game Wait, didn't with you play thing the... trying to kill people. I didn't play this one. Oh, was it... Lisa played it. Lisa played this one. I think Lisa... I was it... Danielle that played that with oh, us? Oh, it might have been Danielle. I thought that was you that was played it. No, it was Lily. Lily was played Lily. Never mind. Hi, Lily. Was... <laughs> hey, Lily. But anyway, um, yeah. Okay, no, so Death, Death Stare was a very, it's kind of an interesting concept. It was one to four players where you have it set up so that one, somebody is the gunner and the other three people are just trying to get up a staircase. And as that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, and as they're trying to walk, no, as they're trying to run up the staircase, the guy at the top just throws beach balls and dodgeballs and mines at them. Oh no! So they have a time frame of which they can get up the stairs, but it's the other person's goal to try and keep them from doing that. Okay. And the other, and now the people that are running up the stairs don't have any, um, they don't have any like way to com- combat it. All they do is like they can try and dash, they can try and dodge, they can try and you know just get out of the way. But that's really about it. Oh, okay. But, um, no, it was a lot of fun. It was a... Kevin uh, is bringing up pictures. Photos. So they kind of look like a hotel hallway. Yeah, yeah. Or something it, like that. It reminds me of like early two thousands PC games that first started. When you look at the graphics, it's like oh yeah. I guess they're not you know spectacular, but. It's perfect for what it is. No, and I mean, it's something that you can very much tell is done for the, um... They focus more on the gameplay than they do on That is not stairs. Their... No, it's not. <laughs> that is not stairs. No. Maybe. That is gonna be stupid. That looks stupid, but it looks fun. <laughs> but no, it was a it was a lot of fun to play though. I don't I don't really have much else to say about that one just because it was okay. kind of a simple game. All right. But um, that like one was a uh, Death Stare, and you can download the demo at www.rnd-labs.com. 
Which, and actually, while we're on the topic of, of games that we've all played, why don't we talk about, what was the name of the, we described it as Sports Ball. Oh, what was oh. The actual Sports name Ball! Of that? Um, I can actually pull it up. It is called Super... Super Slam Dunk Touchdown? Yes. Okay. Super Slam Dunk Super Touchdown. Slam dunk. Okay, so that and one... And that actually is out on Steam right now. Yes, um, that is uh, $15 on Steam. Um, it, I think, is worth it. it uh, the gist of it is that if for anyone that... From, sorry, go ahead. That's from Tipping Goat, by the way. Okay, it's an older kind of style game. Kind it, of reminiscent in, of like it's an done old in Nintendo bit. game. Yeah, it's done so. like 8-bit NHL hockey for the NHL. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. so like the premise um, is like you start off on any of the fields, I guess. Yeah. I really only saw hockey uh, there. I actually got the description pulled up. Okay, well he can read the description cool. better so than me. So pulled directly from uh, Tipping Goat's website. What is Super Slam Dunk Touchdown? SSDT is action. It is teamwork. It is sports. Assemble a crack squad of different pro sports players to pass, punt, and punch your way to victory. Super Slam Dunk Touchdown offers up to 10,000 billion percent more sports than the leading sports video game. <laughs> now, to be clear, the reason... To, to, I, I feel like we're not describing this that well, though. The whole point of the game is you pick a... When you go and pick your character... You're gonna end up being either like you can pick a roller derby girl or a hockey player, lacrosse or, or guy, a lacrosse basketball guy, player, a, a tra- football a track, player, track runner, track runner. Yeah, yeah, he's there. And they'll get slapped on a field that has a <laughs> a combination hockey goal, football Soccer field goal, goal and basketball, and a basketball goal. goal. Yeah. And, and so, everything like is... the one that I saw, we were playing on a hockey in a hockey rink. Mm-hmm. So I think the it had ice lo- physics. Yeah. It, so and then what had like an ice machine that would come through and just yeah, and Boney would try and just run you run over. Run you over. So it it was kind of chaos, but I I feel fun like it chaos. was yes, it was yeah. fun chaos. Like I've never seen anything yeah, like it. Would... So we just kind of call it sports ball. Yeah, which uh, is funny because that's all we could kind of really describe it as was sports ball. Basically, yeah. So yeah. if you combined like all the sports, then it's this game. Yeah. So, what, what do you have anything yeah. to add, It's Kevin? probably the closest thing to a, like, version of Calvin Ball. For, yeah, <laughs> you know? it is literally sports ball. Yeah. It is sports ball. It, that's what it is. It's Okay, what they have listed here is um, you have football, hockey, soccer, roller derby, basketball, bowling, tennis, and more sports not listed. You battle for supremacy on turf, ice, and court surfaces against streaking fans, ice resurfacers, banana peels, and, oh yeah, by the way, the other team. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you'd have to worry about actually trying to score while you're kind of being ran over and yeah. slipping on banana peels. Yeah, it was fairly ridiculous, but it and was I, it I was believe a lot there's fun. also cut scenes from whenever you score a goal per character. Like, this one looks to be a picture of a baseball player slam dunking a basketball into a field goal. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, what do you got there? Um, another game I played while I was there was, and I, I didn't get, to, to be fair, I didn't get the chance to play this for a particularly long time, but uh, from what I played with it seemed seemed like it was pretty fun, was Party Hard, and the gist of Party Hard uh, is that it is Is three... this an Andrew WK game? No, it's not. Okay. Is that it is three <laughs> o'clock in the... I'd be very disappointed. The... No, it's, that would be awesome, but I, I would be, I think that'd Andrew be great. Andrew WK Simulator? Yeah. Okay, that is not um, what this is. No, it's not. But, um... Is that the gist of it is your neighbors are having a party and it is now three o'clock in the morning and they're just having a ridiculous party and you want to go to sleep so you go over there and just murder everyone at the party but you mm-hmm. have to uh, you wow. you have to basically like when somebody dies you have to make it so that either the cops don't get called or if the cops do get called that no one can trace it to you. So it's basically like a murder simulator at a party that you have to like eliminate everyone before the cops of, um, catch you. What is it? Um, Sundari sim- simulator. Yeah, oh, Sundari simulator. Yeah, yeah. Simulator. that kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It, no. If you they find a body, they get alerted and things go crazy. Very what? very similar, but it's done in an eight bit style. But it was okay. a lot of fun because it's one of those things that has like a lot of environments that you can mess around with and that you can uh, like destroy. And like one of the ones I was playing was at like a. Uh, um, like an outdoor music festival, so it's like I could light speakers on fire, I could like oh, chop great. down a tree to push it over onto somebody while they were, you know, doing that. Um, you could do stuff like, and one of the other ones was a house party, you could like, if you found gasoline, you could light a room on fire while everyone and just lock the door. Oh like, my god, that's terrible. <laughs> this is good for anyone who's like had those neighbors. Yeah, we'll we'll the... be playing that on 
the Jagam. I'd like okay. to. I know okay. that, that's one where I would legitimately like to play that at some point. Like okay. that looked like a lot that of fun. That sports ball. Okay, yeah. so that was uh, Party Hard. Um, it is on Steam, and that was yes. from the um, Tiny Build. Yeah, Tiny Build. Tiny okay, so Tiny Build had a very had, big like, booth. Fifteen games. They there had this quite year. a bit. Yeah, they were there last year, right? Maybe Tiny Build was really just publishing. Really, they used other people for the development. So, like, they're out there to really get, get indie games going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, Tiny Build supported Punch Club, which will be... We're actually going to be putting that up this week. Okay. So, because I'm going to be... I'm going to edit this and put this up, like, probably... Stat. Yeah, probably. If not tonight, tomorrow. Okay. So, I mean, it'll be up within this week. But we're going to be putting up Punch Club, which Kevin and I played. And, uh, yeah, that'll kind of be going together. I've got one more I wanted to talk about. Yes. And um, that's just a that's just a flyer I found. Oh well. Yeah, don't worry about that. that that's not, <laughs> not really, important. Yeah, not important. This is probably my favorite out of everything I played there. That game looks fucking gorgeous. Realm Walk of Soul. Holy shit! I saw that when I walked by. Yeah, Lily was freaking out about it too. It has some of the best artwork I saw out of anything there. It's very like, um, like think very. I don't want to say Edward Gorey, but kind of that very, like, Edward Gorey, Tim Burton, very, like, kind of gothic style. Like, all the characters are that very what slim. Is... and But here's the thing is that the, the game itself focuses very, very little on combat. It's basically this girl falls asleep, gets put into a very kind of Alice in Wonderland, but like a dark thing. But it's very, very puzzle-based. The whole thing is okay, super, yes, I, uh, super puzzle-based. I did hear about this. Like, it's something that you have to go along and collect clues and use certain abilities to solve puzzles. Mm -hmm. But, like, they specifically made it where it is very story-driven and very puzzle-driven. And it's just, like... With really of, pretty art. Yeah, so. with super pretty artwork. And it's just, like... So, as a result, like, all of those things were something where it's like, yeah, I'm fucking on board. And actually, and one of the nice things, and a little bit of, like, a nice story to kind of go along with this, this uh, game just... When I say just, I mean, like, last week got greenlit on Steam. Oh, so wow. it'll it's not available yet. But it's something to look out for. And yes, and they said it, it'll be available on Steam, PS4, and the PS Vita. Yeah. So there are different places you Someone's can get it. Someone's actually doing something for the Vita. Really? I know. <laughs> Giving Vita some love. Yeah, and it was it was nice, though, because you could tell the team that worked on it was fairly small. But they, like, in talking to them about it, they were so proud of it. And, like, they were just so proud Good. of, like, you yeah, know. Excellent. But it's gorgeous they looking. I mean, a lot of people going by for playtesting of that game. It was... Yeah, no, it was really good. And, I mean, I... I wish I could say more about it, but it's just, like, it's something that really, it's something that I would just say go ahead and try and find a, like, because I, I really can't compare it to anything else as far as, like, something that I've personally played, with the exception of, like, it's funny, the feel of it was kind of, like, the feel of, like, the playing the game was very reminiscent to me of some when I say older I mean like mid 90s puzzle games like the ones that really didn't focus on combat it was something yeah. where it was more of like okay you need to flip this switch to get this switch you know and you need to flip this so that way it turns this this way yep. so that you can get through x y and z and it was all very thought you know thought driven puzzle things so it's just like I, I was a big fan of it and that like I said that was one of my favorite things that they had there so I mean so, by all means that's uh, was so by all means, you if know. If you uh, want to look up more uh, for this game, it's www.realmwalkofsoul.com. Yeah. So yeah, give that one a look. It's definite. It's definitely worth uh, checking out. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so um, I played a game, and I really wish I knew what the game was. It was the cheating game. Oh. Do you remember uh, what that's called? The screen looking game. Yes. I think it's okay. actually called screen looking. It's, I think it's. Like... Is it the like screen look or screen cheese? That's not like that, but it's the premise of it was. Mm -hmm. You cannot see your opponents. Everyone's invisible. You have to look at the other screen and figure out where they're standing so you know where to shoot them. So think back to playing like GoldenEye 007, yeah. that thing you're not supposed to do, you're supposed That's, to do. Yeah, it's intentionally meant to be a game that you are like sitting on a couch playing with other people. Yeah, you know, a four person game yeah. at a time. It's. Yes. Yeah. So, it, that one looked really interesting. I think I had a friend who played it, and she won by not cheating, which she was like... She was just watching for the bullets, Yeah, she said she? she was watching for the bullets. I was like, okay, well... That also yeah. worked. I mean, Fine, it's... I guess. But, uh, yeah, so that one looked really interesting. Um, you you and Kevin went to the uh, the wrestling thing, didn't you? How did that panel go? Before we get to that panel... Go on. <laughs> I'm being nice. Jesus I know. Christ. I know. Before we get to that panel... Um, I know Danielle would want me to go through and mention okay. another game called Color Thief that was there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got to pull... I just pulled up online to make sure I had the right game. They started development two years ago. Mm-hmm. 
actually three years ago now. It's been three years since they started development on this game officially. Mm-hmm. They had goals three years ago, and knowing that now, I'm very happy I got to see them at PAX South with a booth set up. Mm-hmm. And you essentially get to play as a chameleon. Oh, who's it's a puzzle game. You play as a chameleon in some ruins. You see a color on the wall. You can go up and touch it. Your body absorbs that color because you need it for a puzzle later on. So say there is a door that has like a <laughs> purple symbol on it. You gotta find purple to put onto both parts of the door so the door opens. Oh, okay. But that's what if like one part of the purple you need is up top? You gotta find some green to put on this ivy on the wall so you can climb up the ivy to get to the purple. Oh. Okay. So it's a kind of puzzle game, basically yeah, with colors. It's a color puzzle game, Did but you say in the a world is mostly like white. It's it's a mostly white world. Oh, okay, I see. But it's it's very, very drab and desolate looking. But then like, like, all the color is gone, colors. but occasionally there's pops of color. I like that. So it's... It's, it's one kind of, of aesthetically s- pleasing, I, I guess. would very much like to play it and get us recording it, because yeah. it, it looked very good. It's a very calm, nice game. All right, we'll add it to the list. Yeah, we'll add, yeah we're going to have, like, a big list of shit that we got to get done after this. Okay, so, um, wrestling panel. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, no, no, you, you enjoyed it. I did uh, enjoy it, but looking back, I'm just like, uh, Okay, I just, oh my god. Get it off your chest. Okay, no, so Kevin and I went to this one panel. I know we talked and about we it And we were beforehand. super excited for. And it was uh, basically where they had a bunch of people that were either in, um, like, either the game press community or developers or... Like, GameSpot and... Um, some people from Double Fine were Double there. Double Fine, Gearbox had someone there... And they would come up and play uh, uh, WrestleMania 2000 on the N64, and it would be commentated on by a team. Um, I like the commentary. The commentary was, well, the commentary was good. It, it just, there's not much to commentate on. Yeah. Outside of counting to ten while people stood outside of the ring not knowing how to get back into the ring. Yeah, it was very clear that no one knew how to actually play the game. Like, it was a bunch of people it who... It started played. off very funny. Yeah. But by match three... Well, it's one of those things that, truthfully, like you, the, the crowd was probably the most entertaining thing out of it. Like, the crowd clearly, like, they got chance going, and then there I was, got into it. Yeah, no, I mean, the crowd was good about that. Um, and I, I'm gonna say this, I'm just gonna get this off my chest. The, the only thing that I didn't appreciate about it was that there was this attitude that some of them seemed to have... And I know you, you had said, like, oh, well, they were trying to play up the, like, heel gimmick of like oh sorry let me turn my phone down on, like trying on. to you know play up the like oh yeah we're trying to be the bad guys but it wasn't just like the heels that were doing it it was everyone that had this attitude of like why the fuck are we here we're at pack south go to fucking pax east or pax west we're wasting our fucking time here and like you know what don't bother coming here then like don't don't fucking waste my don't make my ass get out of bed at 10 o'clock in the morning on a fucking saturday to come and see you well, shit on a convention gone and done something else yeah like or you know that that's that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna rag on. We it. could rag on them for a while. I, I wasn't even there. I I like. Colin could go for like an hour long. Race. <laughs> I like. <laughs> He's already done it. No, I like. You guys heard me. It was like I was like Kevin and I went to go watch this together, and like we just left, and I just like let loose for like I, ten minutes. I was just like, can we just stay for the last match? Maybe it'll get good. Maybe it'll get good. No. Okay, it's done. Let's leave. Yeah, like Fuck literally, this. literally the second the last match was done, and like they started doing like <laughs> the, the one, clothes. two, three, pink hats done. It was good player interaction. That was the comical part. That dude, Mikey, I can't remember what he was from. He he was the best part of it because he like really got into got, got it. Got with the glasses, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the guy from Gearbox. Yeah, he was great. So no, shout I, out to Mikey from Gearbox. Yeah, he made that yes. panel not Thank shit. you. Thank you. You were wonderful. He was getting up and like choking his opponent yeah. <laughs> and dragging him down, and then they started passing around a luchador mask and. All the players got in on the last match and choked and that, the same guy out seven times in a row. And that was pretty good. Like, that was... It was good interaction. It was just... <sighs> it fell short of what it really could have been. It was still good. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's... If they go back next year, will I see it? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it, it just... Like, it was just... When you're going down a list of people of, like, Oh, well, they're a big part of this, and they're not here. And so-and-so normally does they're, this. They're part of this, too. They're really good, but they didn't want to come this year. Yeah. Like, oh. It's just, like, when you have that, it's, like, why did why you just... Why just start with that? Yeah, why why lead in with, Oh, yeah, well, we're gonna shit on the <laughs> these, fact that no these one These people wanted... thought this convention was shit. Yeah. Like, why lead in with that? Why like, did you come back? It's not really fair to pack South, too, because no. this is only its second year. Yeah. And, and it I was really good this year. It was really good last year, as well, so I'm like, give it a chance. I mean... 
yeah. It needs to get into its own, I guess. No, and, and I mean, and that's just it. It's like, don't, don't, and like, honestly, for something that truly is only a second year convention, they're doing a very good job. Oh, yeah. They had like, big sponsorships, big names showed mm-hmm. up, big game I was really sad that Nintendo wasn't here this and year. Here's, and the but thing is, like, they, they put off a... They had plans. I know. And I'll give them credit for this. They put together a fun convention. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, that's really what it boils down to. Is like, they put together something that's, like, legitimately fun. I mean, and maybe that's coming from us because we really only have a lot of anime conventions around here, but it's, like, ten times this was better like than any anime convention. This was, like, the fucking best convention I've ever yeah. been to. But we have a lot of conventions, though. I mean, that's the thing is that we do mm-hmm. have, like, a lot of conventions that come through here. we've been to a lot of conventions, so the fact that we understand and know that this is... Like one of the better ones that we've been huge. to. Yeah, yeah. And it's a big deal. It really is for Texas. So I mean, and not for nothing. Like, yeah, we get a lot of small conventions, but even like I'm from you know Poughkeepsie, New York, and even in that area, we get maybe. I, I would honestly say throughout the course of the whole year, maybe ten throughout the entire the, year. The, the biggest one is Pax East, the hits the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, and even that, and even that's not in New York. No, that's you in, gotta go a couple hundred miles. You have yeah, the big and that's Apple just Con, it, but that, that sounds horrible. It's not bad. Really? But like, it like, sounds too big. It's, it is big. Like, they've got New York Comic Con that's, like, their big one, you know, mm-hmm. yearly that's yeah. pretty good. But, like, you know, down here, I mean, we get... There's... Especially, like, during the summer months, you'll get... Dallas quite Comic Con, the- Fan Days, mm-hmm. you'll all get the anime some- conventions that roll in, all the other video game conventions that roll in. It's- you will get a bunch that... You will have two or three a month between the uh-huh. summer months that'll and be, like... And that's why a lot of people didn't come to PAX South this time is because in the past two months, they've had... Three to six conventions. Yeah, no, I mean, it up. and it gets and it gets to be a lot. And I mean, in in this area, like kind of the spring and summer is more of the like convention yep. season. Like well, this is we kind have of like, the... like another four conventions that are coming up within the next four months or something. Yeah. yeah, and but no, I mean, it was overall it was really good. And I'm I got I just want to say I'm I'm sorry if it seems like I'm shitting on that panel. It was just like it just <laughs> seemed like. It just seems like a weird thing. It to... seems like he's shitting on the panel because he is shitting on the panel. God damn it! <laughs> I'm sh- okay. I'm shitting on that panel only because of the rest of the convention. They was... shit on us. Be- no, and that's really what it comes down to is that the rest of the convention seems so good. So to have this one person that just comes in is like, oh, oh, why are we at this diarrhea fest? <laughs> it's like, well, then don't fucking come here. Why'd you come to the diarrhea fest? Yeah. If you're like, diarrhea fest. <laughs> What'd you expect? It's a diarrhea fest. <laughs> One thing that did confuse me about the convention were all the anime cosplayers. That's any convention, though. No, but I mean, they, like, okay, and we were okay. Comic convention. They did not have that last year, though. Comic convention. I understand. You have you have manga to, be, to go and stuff and all that, but it's a good be, portion of them were from animes that are getting video games now, but they weren't well established. Attack on Titan games. fell through, so I just oh, want to say I want, that. I just want to point this out, though. I didn't so much look at it. That way, as much as, not for nothing, there was a lot more cosplay, period, compared to last year. Some people are saying there was less. Yeah, I was all like, the no, cosplayers. No, I know, see, you and me were like, no, All the cosplayers were saying, oh, there was so much less. Your guys, there really wasn't. It's because you guys all hung out together all the time at the convention last year, like, so you all saw the cosplay. Yeah, that's true. I was walking through the streets. Everywhere I looked, there was a cosplay. I walked into the expo. Everywhere I looked, there was a cosplay. Yeah. Every fucking room I walked into, there was cosplay. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't like that last year. Yeah, like last year, there really... I mean, last year, there there was some cosplayers, but compared to the... This was big. Yeah, yeah. there was a lot more. And I mean, that's to be expected, though. It's like, once even you get the, more... Was there even a cosplay contest? I don't, I don't think know. so. You know, I don't remember seeing one on the uh, panel listings. I didn't see it listings. listed on any of the panel listings or anything. So, I mean, for this many cosplayers to turn out to for a up, non-contest... Yeah. That, you know, to be fair, though, it's kind of, it's more of an industry show than it a, is. like, you know. It really is. It's, it's an industry. You have an it's industry. It's an expo. It is an expo. It's an I industry mean, and personality expo. That's yeah. what it is. But when you have this many people who are fans of things going, showing off things they love, <laughs> it's a good combination convention. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, if, if you're going to go as Attack on Titan... You probably shouldn't or go sa- as Attack Moon. on Titan or Sailor Moon. I mean, as much as I love Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon or... Uh, Someone did argue with me that there's a Sailor Moon RPG. I think, that, that I think was, it was, was Dagger. Dan- that was Danielle. It's, <laughs> yeah, there was, and apparently it's good, but, you know, it's... it's we're, we'll never when I think of Sailor Moon, I think of the anime. I don't think of yeah, the RPG. I don't. But if <laughs> so, you're going to do Sailor Moon, why would you... No, no, I won't go there. Yeah, I we won't. could go off on a big ramp, but, so, I mean, uh, there was a lot of cosplay, and everyone did, like, 
great. Which, by the way, well, on that Blood topic, Born. Oh, yes, oh my god, Blood Blood Born. group. Yeah, shout out to our friends who were all involved in the Bloodborne group we love because, you guys. oh you awesome. my god, yeah, y'all have been blowing up. All week, Reddit's blowing up over it now. Yeah, the, the people at Twitch, Twitter blow yeah, up over it. Very Twitch impressed. is in awe. <laughs> All the big Bloodborne streamers are in awe of you guys. Y'all are be, being retweeted, followed, talked about by some of the biggest names in the industry. So it was. It may so get to the job, po- everybody. It, it may honestly get to the point where Miyazaki actually sees it. That would be ridiculous. And if he does, it's currently trending in Japan now, too. Yeah, nice. They are trending in Japan, cool. being retweeted by the J- Japanese game devs and all those industries. I hope they do. That'd be so awesome. There's people out there wanting to reach out to you, so don't be surprised when that happens. Woohoo! Yeah, no, because that was... The, it, the, it was awesome. Yeah. Like, it was funny, too, because uh, I, it's like they couldn't move at all. No. Really. Like, there, were, there were so many people wanting pictures. It was just like a very stationary mm-hmm. costume. You know, everyone really couldn't. Because you see. were helping, you were helping Chelsea with one of her. You know, yeah, we I was. Like... I was one of her mini handlers for her winter lantern. <laughs> so uh, we that took uh, took like three people to carry that thing across the convention center. Yeah. So she that she put a lot of work into it. It was awesome. So good job, guys. We're we're very proud of you. Yeah, yeah. Just, just you guys. Just it was ridiculous. Whew, blew everyone away. Yeah, just the sheer amount of effort that went into that was just perfect. Yeah. Miss so. all of the. Oh, I don't think our costumes are gonna be that good, and people will point at all the flaws. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are perfect. All right. You're wonderful. So, anything else anybody wants um, to add? The only thing I'd, I'd like to do is go back and talk about some more of the Twitch stuff. Yeah, go ahead. They're blowing. <laughs> no, up. you're. Well, yeah. no, they're blowing up now for the creative stuff. Oh, right. Okay. That was a big part of Pack South for them was them being like, "Hey, really check out Twitch Creative." So, I mean, any artist, anyone really into that? If you have a craft, not even really like an, an just art, but it's, like they have like someone who does blacksmith. Yeah, there's so a blacksmith. Yeah. Oh, nice. They, they have body painting going on mm-hmm. now. Um, computer building, computer coding. Things like that. Well, it's, it's kind of there to show it's off their craft and also to help you... your creative side and what you're creative with. Yeah, so and you, you can let people, like, see how you do your thing. So yeah. if you're interested in that, um, Twitch is Please. definitely there to support you because they don't have very many what, right now. And from what you were talking about before, it's it's something that they're... They're still very people. It's... It's very new at this point, and is now very is late. the time. Yeah, it's... so now's the time to jump on it if you have anything. And I think that that's good that they're trying to branch out from that. You know, aside from just it's, like, like it's that's Twitch t- Twitch TV came from Justin TV. Justin yeah. TV was a platform for YouTubers and streamers to get their video game playing out there. Now Twitch and is also going for people to illegally stream pay per views. <laughs> yes, there was that too, which may be one of the reasons why Justin TV is now shut down. But <laughs> That's been taken care of with Twitch. You can't do that anymore. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I mean, there may be cases where it still happens if you go to the right streams or rather the wrong streams. If you look around at some things or you, your game also may get mistaken for a movie Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, like, it's this new upcoming platform. They don't want it to be just video games, which is nice to see. It's... It's going to sound weird for me to say it, I guess, but they're taking kind of like the YouTube approach of put whatever in the hell you want to up on it. So, like, yeah, you can play video games on it. That's all well and good. Or you can be creative. Or, hey, you want to stream? We have a game talk show. Yeah. Go for that. You want to talk about It's basically anything. just for the nerd fandom, anything that's kind of nerdy. D&D they want to tabletop you. games are big on it now, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's... If there's something you want to do, there's probably a category you can be classified at under Twitch that you want to get out there. It's if you're really into like fucking solitaire for some reason. <laughs> you I can bet film yourself playing solitaire. You there may be a fan it. base for it. It's a game. It's, you don't know. You can get anything out there. It's contact them if you have questions. The people are so nice. It's out of everyone that I got to meet at Pack South. Narrowing it down into Twitch and YouTube personalities, I'm heavily favoring the Twitch side now. It's oh yeah, we won't even go into that. That was a whole different we thing. We had an experience with a, a YouTuber and it wasn't pleasant, it's, so yeah, we won't not... even go into that. But we will say that it happened. For, so. From like industry standpoints, the nicest people I got to meet at Pack South were either the Pax members themselves or the Twitch staff people. It, 
So if you're one of those people wanting to get yourself out there or even try anything and you're wanting like, oh, I just want a good, trustworthy platform, just go for it. It's yeah. the best platform you can probably get on right now for starting out. And more than likely not to turn into one of those, but more than likely once once Twitch does go over to their uploading, like where you can up regularly upload videos, we'll still leave the YouTube channel up. But and, we, we'll, and we still uh, may upload to the YouTube, for, you know, but not diversify. As, uh, our, yeah. our main thing will pro will probably go over and start using mm -hmm. Twitch more yes. regularly. I would love to get us on there and, into um, like a, a small streaming schedule or something. Once we uh, get it, we've been contemplating getting a new capture because our uh, whole pog sucks or how are you That's the it? one Was booth there? I didn't get to fucking go we walk by. We all wanted to like go, go mean mug the whole pog booth. <laughs> <laughs> I walked by. I swear to God. Yeah, it does 60 FPS with really high quality audio. Shut the fuck Liar. up. Liar. My dick does 60 I, FPS. I, <laughs> I hope you see this video. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna tag at Hope Hog, so we're gonna be looking. <laughs> but, uh, at Hope Hog yeah, sucks so, ass. So once we um once we get rid of that piece of shit, I'm probably gonna keep it and do some streaming with it. Yeah, it does, like you said, have it works. Nice no, little, and it works. Uh, it has good. It's a really good streaming functionality. Yeah, no, and we've talked about this before. I mean, part of it was like you know the rocket's good for some things, but just once they started putting the updates into it, it yes, yeah, the video recording and stream working on it is very good, but the audio portion is bad, very subpar. It's it's not good. It's surprisingly yeah. subpar, and it's a known issue. And it's an issue that they've just kind of been like, oh, yeah. buy the new product. We, yeah, we know it sucks. We but despite care. the fact that it's not even that old of a product, no, so, it's. You know. Yeah, I, I, I bought it like a year and a half ago, if that. Something yeah. like that. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think they started coming out them like 2011 or something when they first started making them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's you, not. You've had really plenty old. of time to fix things. Whatever. Though. Why aren't I mean, you? We'll just go somewhere else. Hey, real quick. Who was all, I just, because I, I want to give them credit for it, who was all part of, I know, I know Hope and Heather from Twinsic were, uh, for the Bloodborne group, who was all part of, I know, uh, it was um, Chelsea who goes by Pancake Remix and Pancake Twinsic Remix, were part of, uh, Sierra. Uh, Twinsic, oh, Sierra, Sierra was, I don't and know, then I don't know anyone one. else. Who goes by Z Sierranator? I apologize for anyone else in that. I didn't. I couldn't recognize you under your amazing. Yeah, you were, like, so, <laughs> you were so good. You um, couldn't see half your Kyle... faces. Kyle. Kyle Matt was it Mathis. Kyle Mathis was he here for that? He I don't was know. the whoever Tracy made the coat for. I'm gonna see if I can like really quickly it's properly give credit. Yeah, because I, mean, I would they, I would love to properly. Their group had five people, I believe. And then they had all the other Bloodborne people who showed up that they didn't know that they started getting pictures with. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was pretty... Oh, okay, so that's why they had... The Such way... a huge group. Yeah, we didn't know those people, but they... you did good, too. Yeah, I... you guys all were amazing. It... Yeah, yeah. It just... Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Yeah, no, it was it was very, very good. It was fantastic. I get... Like, again, I get... It's one of those things we cannot say enough of how... Where I'm just like, let me go and get on Twitter for a second, see what everyone's been updating, and seeing two of the biggest names in the industry putting a picture of my friend up, being like, holy shit, did you fucking see this shit there? God damn, this is awesome. <laughs> and then that picture ended up getting like 600 plus retweets and favorites and messages put on it, and I checked them, half of them are from Japan. So oh, wow. It's... International fans. Uh, yeah. Y'all did good. It's, yeah. Are you oh. are you looking up who was in that group? I'm trying to. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm. Just <laughs> Feel free to tag yourself in the video. Yeah, yeah please do. Let, let us in know. That group, then let us know. Yell at Colin later. It's fine. Yeah, that's fair. That's usually pretty fair. That's what we do. <laughs> um, like overall, that's was PAX 2016. PAX South 2016. It. Uh, that was good. We yeah, will definitely uh, be any, there next year. Real quick, does anybody else have anybody else they want to, you know, shout out to uh, or anything like that before? I guess I can say a thank you to Mr. P. Peverson and Kazzy Blood. You guys were very awesome to meet. Lobos yeah. and Fieldy, you guys were wonderful to meet as well. Um, all the Twitch staff we got to meet and talk to. All the game devs we got to sit down and talk to. Yeah. Dear Tabletop Mord Game Company, I wish your prices were cheaper. <laughs> I really want one of your products. That's, that would be Game Cheek quality. and uh, Board Game Tables. Yeah. Those two companies were there. Y'all have oh, wonderful products. Oh, the Board Game Tables. Oh, Worm, my God. Wormwood, Wormwood Gaming. Yes, yeah. the you Wormwood You guys gaming. were beautiful and wonderful. Super nice people. Very wonderful to talk to. 
Um, all of her friends we got to see there. Meg Bree, Chris. Yeah. James Quinn. J- yeah, James and Quinn. Um, April. Everybody. Who is... God, what's her cause... Play workshop name. I'm blanking. Someone there, say yeah, it. No. Azure no. Props. Is that her? <laughs> I think. Is it Azure Props? <laughs> okay. Azure I'm just Props. trying to see like, how long uh, you're like. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, April. Well, I was about to say another one of our friends' props company, and I was like, which one is which? It's like, I, just saw Ke- I just saw Kevin's it's, brain it's have the, like a. Uh, little gears turning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't hurt yourself thinking too hard. Um. <laughs> Dear, Tracy, dear La- Lauren, Zach. Dear, uh, dear La Quinta Inn, you oh, guys yeah. were wonderful. Thank you for the breakfast. And Texas Shape Waffles. Texas oh, yeah. Shape waffles. <laughs> your amazing Texas Shape Waffles. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay, All so the bananas we could have. Last year we but went I could see. and we stayed <laughs> yeah. in the, the All Hyatt. All the bananas I could in my pockets. Last year we stayed in the Hyatt that was attached to the convention center. And it was a really nice it's experience. It really was. It, it was okay. Like They gave us kind of they had a little stand with coffee and muffins on it. But this year we got put in a La Quinta. Woo! Woo! Full breakfast bread, free uh, Wi-Fi. A uh, La Quinta, free a La Quinta, free Wi-Fi, full breakfast, drink vending machines. Yeah, it was yeah, great. Was nice. So we the had no complaints staff. about the La Quinta. Yeah, and they have like this really nice eating area in this like middle of the, uh, I guess the lobby. And when we came in at night, people had like a bunch of games set up. Yeah, like they were all just chilling in the lobby. And they kind of seemed like they embraced it, which was yeah. Cool. And everyone yeah. was really I, I nice. saw I saw a couple of staff being like, what the fuck is going on and, and one of them going they're going to that back south thing oh you mean they convention down the street with like the like the thousands and thousands of people yeah oh cool oh man okay so whenever we were like helping chelsea with her winter lantern like we got out of the elevator and we were carrying it and we were standing in the lobby like she didn't have it on we were just kind of trying to get it to the main convention area and like you can tell the normal people, like in business clothes, like looking oh, out their oh, phone, oh, what the fuck like is that? taking pictures, like look at this shit. <laughs> and look all, at these fucking losers. All the industry people going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, it was funny because they're trying to be like very inconspicuous about it. We're like, like, trying, you know to what like you're doing. trying to like kind of whip out a phone like, and uh, uh, click. There was like, oh yeah, I remember the hotel next to it, they had like a black tie event at the bar we were oh, at. Oh god. Oh my god, that was so <laughs> funny. The quinceanera that showed up at the hotel. Yeah, it was like... The they mid- picked the wrong area. But yeah, no, and there was like, so, there was a very like, you could tell, like Sarah said, a black tie event going on like that Saturday they night. They were like in tuxedos, and it, it was funny. <laughs> a bunch of drunk nerds. And, yeah, literally a bunch of drunk nerds in, the, in like the same thing. And they got kicked out of the bar. Yeah, we, we got kicked out. <laughs> Because somebody brought in a fucking cheered oh, up ice. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, real quick, shout out to Spencer and all your hoes at uh, the, the wonderful dinner event we went to. I want to thank you personally for being so exceptionally loud the entire two hours we were there to where we could barely hold a conversation. It was so nice and polite and thoughtful of you. Um, whoever's birthday it was over there, go fuck yourself. What the fuck just happened? Ah, that's the first I'm hearing about this. Oh. Who's the hose? There were like 50 women who showed up in dresses that were far too short and revealing for oh being in a... It was an escort a, service? And like a mid-dining Mexican restaurant. Oh, well... Y'all, I... Don't we didn't, on the hose. I didn't say anything at the time, but Spencer, thank you for standing up on top of your booth and table... To make a very loud announcement and have the entire group chant your name. <laughs> okay. Whoever Spencer is, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. We don't like you. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. This just know. got spiteful. I'm, I'm rolling with it. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, I, 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 I do want to give one last okay, thing. Okay, never mind. This it's not is, a wrap. No, just... It's never um, a wrap. No, this is, this is this, honestly, I just want to give a quick, just hi to John from the uh, Communicast. Who him and I were talking a bit well, actually, while I was waiting in line for um, for Realm Walk of Soul. Okay. Uh, great guy. They have a great they have a great podcast and community kind of going on over there. So feel free to check them out as well. Yep. Um, and that that was my last one for for my stuff. Um, so unless oh, anybody else has uh, again on the Twitch creative side, make sure you're, if you get a chance to go check out Miss So Lol. That's S O H L O L. She was absolutely wonderful to meet and talk to. She was super helpful concerning a lot of the actual creative stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, the community is great, guys. 
go to PAX South, everything was fucking amazing. Yep. Yeah. If you didn't get to go this year or last year, plan for next year. We will have a video up at some point. Yes. Uh, Eventually. Oh, you're looking at me. Yes. Yeah, I haven't got a chance to edit it, but by this week, we'll I'll put up the video. So I've already been like downloading little tunes for it. So nice, yes. good. So it's in the works. All right, well, all right, it's, guys. Uh, you know, shout out to emergency and allergy oh. medications. And Robert Tussin, yo, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you made the town experience good. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Bye. We'll, Bye. We'll, we'll see you soon. Bye. By the way, uh, Danny DeVito, yeah. we... Uh, we really hope you're having a great, wonderful day. Yes, we love please, you. Please be Detective Pikachu. Thank you. Danny DeVito be with you. <laughs> and also with you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>